Hi, this is Adam, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the reason for using a GPS heart rate device with your training, and give you a look under the hood, so to speak, at some of the tools that I use behind the scenes on the Training Peaks platform to help plan and monitor your training as your coach. Using your training device is important for you as the athlete, as well as me as the coach. As the athlete, your training device allows you to monitor the intensity that you're working at so that you can stay in those zones that I prescribe for any of your given workouts. And then once you finish your workout, you upload that data to your training log and then that allows me to look and see what you've accomplished and then fit that data into the overall picture of your training plan. One of the tools that I use on Training Peaks is the performance management chart. And this allows me to model your performance over time. The amount of training that you do, the volume, that's easy to add up. But we also need to understand how the intensity of the training that you do factors into that overall equation. Uh, so I have a better understanding of how you're adapting to the overall training load. So the performance management chart allows me to do that. If you're interested in the details of how to use the performance management chart, if you're a self-coach athlete, for example, um, I'll refer you to the documentation on the Training Peaks website. There's, there's more information there. But in a nutshell, what we're looking at here are three elements. Uh, first off, that red line that you see at the top, that represents the acute training load. So this is the average training load over the last day up to maybe seven days, so over a short period of time. And this really represents the daily fatigue that you are accumulating uh, in those day-to-day -day workouts. The blue line represents the chronic training load. So this is the average training load over a longer period of time, such as three to seven weeks. And this is going to represent your overall fitness level. So as that blue line rises higher on the chart, we know that your fitness is improving. And then finally, this yellow line which we call this training stress balance. Uh, this represents the difference between the chronic training load and the acute training load. Uh, so um, this really gives us an indication of your race readiness. So what we want to see is that yellow line coming up to that red line over there on the right hand side and we know that you as the athlete at that point are in a prime position to go out and compete in your race. So this brings us back to one of the key points that I wanted to emphasize in this video. And that's the importance of using not just a heart rate monitor, but one that's integrated with a GPS device. Uh, we need to collect, yes, the heart rate data, but we also want to collect the distance, the time, the pace data that we can glean from using that GPS device. When you go home after your workout and upload that data to your training log, it's going to calculate what's called a training stress score. And that training stress score is the basis for using tools such as the performance management chart. So as you can see, using a GPS heart rate device along with the Training Peaks training log uh, can help us train systematically to achieve our goals. And that's really key, especially for time-crunched athletes. And of course, if you're not a self-coached athlete, you don't need to worry about a lot of these details that we just covered. But I hope that this is giving you some insight into the process that I use and some of the, the tools that I use behind the scenes uh, to help plan and monitor your progress as an athlete. So if you're interested in my coaching, uh, please visit the website and feel free to contact me with any questions. And I'm here to help you train smart and train systematically. So good luck with your racing.